What's happening guys, Junior's Take you back with another video. Now we all know how much I like security cameras, you know, they tend to go everywhere, especially when it comes to my house. I have cameras pretty much in nearly every room in my house and around my house, around my area. I like security, they, they help out a lot. It really does help out a lot. When it comes to security cameras, if you've got one and say, unfortunately, if something happens to your home, business, garage, outdoor area, if you've got a security camera, you have physical proof. So if anything does get damaged or anything like that, or even just that little bit of security, it makes it perfect. So today we're looking at a camera from Tekken, and this is the 1080p HD Wi-Fi indoor camera. So... So what we're actually going to do is get this unboxed. So like I said, this is the Tekken Cam 1080p HD Wi-Fi indoor camera. So what we're actually going to do is get this unboxed now. So I've got my trusty unboxing knife here. So let's get this unboxed and see what we're working with. Oh, first of all, unbox it the correct way. <laughs> so first of all, we have the camera and then we have a little accessory box, which I'm just going to pull out and pop that on one side. Get this unboxed, see what we have in here. So very little accessories, which is what I like to see. I like to see cameras but which are extremely simple to use. So let's have a look, see what we've got. First of all, we have the camera lens, but I need to peel this off, so. Don't know why that's so satisfying. So what else have we got? So let's get all this unraveled, see what we're working with. So this is pretty much all we get. So we have the main camera and its stand. We also get a little small pad of adhesive, which would go on the bottom here, which is the little square there, if you can attach it to a surface. We do get a USB to USB to USB to micro USB cable, which is quite a good length. We do get a little short user manual here, but like I said, this camera is going to be extremely simple. It's pretty much going to tell you how to connect to the app, how to use it, all that good stuff. Then we also do get a power a five volt power brick here. This is UK power brick. So like I said, if you get this in another country, uh, yours will look slightly different. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna get this connected to the side of here. Oh, there's two places you can actually connect this to. So, we have a look at that. So you've got one hole there, and you've got one on the bottom. So you can actually connect this in different manners. So, it just clips on like that, and there you go, you actually have a full camera now. <laughs> so, the base itself, if you're just gonna use it as, as, as a base, there's four little rubber grommets on either side, so this is going to pretty much stop it from uh, moving around or wobbling around, all that good stuff. And then we do have the information of the camera going on right there. Apart from that, it does have a small amount of, well, I'd say a small, it does have a large amount of tilt and swivel going on there, as this is going to be a stationary camera. So this is going to allow you to fit it to a service. You do have two anchor points, one on the back, one on there. So it is going to allow you to um, be able to see different things going on. Now the camera itself, we do have a reset button going on the back here, a little click button now going on there. We have uh, an anchor, we do have a small speaker output going on there, and also the charging port which is the micro USB port. Now on this side we do have a slot for a micro USD card which is nice to see. And that is pretty much for the actual camera. So on the face of the camera we do have the lens itself, we do have a microphone as well as the LED sensor. So without wasting any more time, let's get this connected to my phone. So I need to get this plugged in first of all. So I've got my phone on the screen like it normally is around over here. I'm going to pop the camera just about there just so you can see it in the frame. I'm going to go through the instruction book first of all. So it does have a QR code for us to scan, I believe. Yep, so it does have a QR code for Android or iOS. So I'm going to scan that now on my camera. So I've just gotten that one, as we can see it's come up with the app which is called Tekken, so I'm going to click on install. Right, now we go, it's installed, so I'm going to click on open. It's going to take us to the Tekken app, and it's going to tell us to sign in or sign up, so I'm going to quickly sign up now. So there we go, I've created my account, and now the first thing we're here, it says home. It's currently 5 degrees, partly cloudy, it's got a few bits like that, and then it says no devices yet, please add one. So I'm going to click on plus, and I'm going to try and find um, the device. So I'm going to click on cam. Oh, there we go. So it's tech and click. I'm going to quick click on that. And it's going to ask us, please make sure the camera is powered on. Make sure the Wi-Fi is in range, which it is. And then it says, please wait approximately 15 seconds until the LED lights are flashing red. So as we can see, it is currently flashing red. So I'm going to click on red light is flashing. 
and then I'm going to log into my network. So I've logged into my network and what it's asking me to do now is to scan the QR code. So I'm going to put the camera there and I'm going to scan the code. So there we go, we heard the little dudum. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky with the lighting I've got in my room. So, so I've just done that. I'm going to click on next and what it's going to do is start connecting. So it's currently got a white light flashing. And as you can see from my phone, it's now connecting, so it's going up through the percentages. We're roughly at about 10% now, and it shouldn't take two more minutes, and then we should be connected and ready to go. Pairing is done successfully. So, as you can see there, pairing is, uh, pairing is done successfully. So, I'm going to put this in limb room. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to turn my volume down quickly. And there we go. So, the camera is live and active. So, I'm going to pop the camera there. So, as we can see on our screen, we have the camera all good and going. So as we can see, hand movement there. So we have a few things on the screen we can talk about. So in the top left, we do have the date and time and everything good like that. And we also have on the top right hand corner that it's live and it's also telling us the kilobit, kilo, kilobytes per second also. Now on the screen itself, we do have our recording. Underneath that, we have take a photo, record, album events, speak and sound. So if I want to speak to this, so this does have two-way audio, which is very nice to see. So if I hear something, I can also talk to it, which is nice to see. So if you're going to use this inside as more of like a pet monitor, this would be really good. So taking the photo is as simple as just click on take a photo, allow it into there. So click on that, take a photo, saves in the bottom right. If I want to go see that photo, click on album, go to image, and there we go. That is the photo I've just taken, which is really, really simple. Now in the top right hand corner, there is a little settings box. So if I click on that, it's going to give us all the settings related to this camera. So we have general settings, so this could be the name, the owner, uh, the model, it has the device ID, firmware IP, and even Mac, obviously that'll be blurred out. So we have audio and video, so it's got audio recording, you can have rotate image, depending on where you have this actually situated, you might need to, uh, no, you might need to rotate the image just in case you've got this fitted to certain walls or certain ceilings. And we also have night vision, this can be off or set to auto, which is nice also. So we have the camera on and off as well, so if you just want to turn the camera off without unplugging it, you can do that via the app as well. And then we have LED indicator and detection of notifications, so if you want to be notified, say if you're in the house and you don't want to be notified, you can click on that. Synchronize time, so you can confirm this, so you can synchronize the time with actually your time zone of where you are. As you can see, top of the screen there, says successful. Uh, we have motion detection and sound detection. So motion detection, if I click it on, basically every time it sees some form of motion, it's going to send me a notification. So we have sensitivity, which is low, high, or medium. And then we also have scheduling. So if you want to set it to like certain times of the day where this actually records something, you can do that also. So sound detection is relatively the same. So what it's going to do is exactly the same. So low, medium, high. If it detects sound, it's going to send me a notification. So I'll be able to have a look and be like, oh, I wonder what's going on in this situation. And it does actually offer us the camera share uh, as well. So if we want to share this with certain people, so like say your partner, your brother's sister's wife, whatever, you can share that, share this so they have the ability to watch the video. They just can't change any of the settings. And what we're going to do is click on storage. Now, there is a few different ways of storage here. So you can either use your own SD card or you can use cloud. So you have to subscribe this. So Tekken has a 7, 15 and 30 day motion tracking full time video storage solution and you can go through them directly if you want to have this set up instead of having a micro SD card. Another good thing is these are supported by third party control with, which is Amazon Alexa and also Google Assistant which is also nice to see so even if you don't want to turn this off by the app you can tell uh, you can actually control this via your Google or Amazon Alexa and it is extremely nice to see. And mind, if you do want to go over and add another device or anything like that, go to home, click on new device, and you're good to go. So there we go. That was the 1080p indoor camera from Tekken. Now, I have to admit, it was easy. It really was simple. Downloading the app took me seconds, and then trying to actually get this connected literally took me seconds as well. And I have to admit, if you're just wanting, like, say, a static camera in the house, or, like, say, a baby monitor or a pet monitor or anything like that, this is going to be perfect because it's simple. You pop a USB cable in the back, you plug it in, and you pretty much you can either sit it just with a cube, or there is also the stand where you have two different uh, ways to mount it. You have the micro USD card as well, and I have to admit, it turned out extremely well. 
So thank you very much for tech and sending this over. I really do appreciate it. And guys, if you want to go check these out, all the links will be in the description so you can go have a look at them for yourself. I believe they do a hell of a lot more than just these. But by all means, head down to the links in the description. And as always, thanks very much. If you do end up getting one, you have issues, don't uh, don't be afraid to drop them in the comment section. I'm more than happy to help. Uh, but at the end of the day, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos.